I was, saying, I was gonna this. say like Ari is only picked with like Vi, Viego, and Nocturne. Oh. So why are you only picking Ari with Sejuani? That doesn't was, really make sense, but that was, was gonna so tie good. it all together and now we just get Alistair. Oh, home of life, why would you do that? Uh, to my heart. I was very excited. So what we have over lanes or anything like that, and especially with the current uh, uh oh, Showmaker just gonna face check on the right side. He's taking a lot of damage. There it is, a huge no orb as well, and no flash. He's just dead. Zeka just gonna collect first blood. Like and we do have some defensive vision for him now uh, in the brush above his red buff as in they go. Oh, trying to set this up, and Grizzly's making his way down, but Bible's just dead anyway. He's just going to go down. Don't even need the jungler. It's just free once again. By any means, but the early damage that Kaiser provides, particularly after nerfs, can be quite big as uh, the ultimate comes in. Yeah, it's going to trap life here. He doesn't have his ult. It looks like he might just be some free food for the side of Deft, who will pick up this kill. But it is a singular Hextech Drake. 2v2 working out for Viper there, picking up a kill. And one kill for uh, for a Hextech Dragon, you'll definitely take that. Team White stats quite strong. We've seen Dragon stacking be uh, very, very successful. Uh, oh, here we go again. Showmaker. Level 6 here. The Spirit Rush Showmaker still no flash. He might just die. One flash auto is enough, and he gets it down. Zeka with a solo kill follow-up onto Viper. And Deft will be able to zone them away. They don't want to go in on that. 2v1 up in the top side. Grizzly going to set this one up as Canyon not able to get there on time. And Canyon will pick up a kill. In the bottom oh, lane, Death. let's see if it no. happens. Yeah, he's in a rough spot here. He is going to have to flash, but Zek is here too. As, uh, yeah, Def just going to have to accept his fate. Nearly takes out life, but Viper on the Kaisa gets his second. Much stronger opponents, and perhaps this will have to be the wake-up call for them. As now Showmaker flash available, not going to even have time to use it. Not expecting Grizzly to come in there from behind. Going to be the most important in oh, this yeah. matchup between these two teams. And look at this. It's like a 2,500 gold leak between the two. Yeah, it's River. insane. On the minimap, even a TP. Okay, they're going all in on trying to get this. Rift Herald as Deft isn't here. Deft is just not here yet, as it's going to be Canyon taking the brunt of the damage. Tanks up an insane amount. Is actually Kingen also going pretty deep for that one. He's going to trade his life for the one of Canyon's, but it's best. Yeah, it's like, please. He might give his life for a showmaker, but it please. looks like they're not going to take the risk. Yeah. Uh, and, and of course, I'm alive to get a decent amount of money, so they want to bet. The AD carries must be huge at this point. I mean, I, I'm thinking at least 2,000 gold, or at least uh, very close to that. Well, there is an Aatrox with dash. So yeah. Just fine. Also, I mean, because the play kind of got broken up, DK just push in, they keep but threatening it. I, I think, yeah, I think D plus can play this slow because. There's not that much bar there, uh, Baron damage. Zeka. Uh, flash W is only going to get the Spirit Rush out. The slow comes in. The charm is there. Showmaker already as the follow up from Life is Big, but he immediately dies. Doesn't have his ult. He was so close to his ultimate, didn't have it, and just gets popped like a balloon. And now the front to back here, not bad from the side of DK. They take down the Sejuani, but they have no answer for Viper and Kingen. I say that Canyon nearly takes out Viper, but he will escape as it is a very broken up fight, and it's just up to King and basically trying to front to back here. Zekka as well, as the root comes in from depth, and there's another charm as Zekka's trying to take the kill. This choke point, D-plus truly nerves of steel on that one. As, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and then the passive keeps him alive in the end. But this is the problem with the state that D-plus is in right now. That fight... DK to respond to their aggressive maneuvers on the map here as the damage is getting farther and farther in as Canyon is going to be popped away. This time, Life has his R button and he will survive as the charm comes in. Zeka is trying to frontline for the team. King in on the flank as well is going to be able to set this one up and zone everybody else away. A couple spirit rushes in as they are looking for the follow up. This time, the charm not quite going to land. And they already got the Baron. I mean, they're just trying to get some bonus kills as trying to flash in front of that one was pretty funny as Bible might still go down anyway. And there's the Permafrost, and he just gets smoked to death. How will AP Sports take a big leap into the lead? Fourth times the charm on that one. Yeah. Let's keep trying in D+. 
with a deficit eventually after the next one and uh, we have gone to the point where the gold lead is going to be truly insurmountable. DK are trying to fight this, I don't know why. It's, it's never going to go your way, although life is going to be taken out. Teleport is still available for Kingen. As now they're just going to R button on top of Kana, down he will go as Bible desperate to just try, pr try to provide some kind of front line. Omnipresent in this game. I'm like Esports continuing to push with the Baron buff. As we have another Spirit Rush, this time the charm is going to be uh, Dodge. We'll give him credit for that one. This Canyon's just going to really try to force this one. I mean, he is quite tanky, but there is just no follow-up. Just gives his life for free. No teleport to come in just yet. Uh, the stopwatches that are available and just a general sense of misery that a D-plus fan the Legends uh, in English times. You, you know, you see this. Do you know oh. League of Legends? You see this and you know. Yeah. It doesn't even matter which AD carry it is when you see six. Piper, oh. as bad as he is, has Zonius now. And Zek and Life just playing it. Gatekeeper. Yeah, it's gone. They also have Kingen over here. As, uh-oh, and it's going to get zoned away as, yep, somebody had to try to check, I suppose, and it was Canyon. So he's dead. Bible also dead. And, uh, you know, that Deft 1v9 angle, I don't really see it anymore. <laughs> it's not really happening. Deft, believe it or not, dead. Yeah, uh, Deft also Showmaker, dead. Strange. Not yet, but yeah. soon, dead. Yeah, it's looking likely. Uh, Zekka does have two more charges of the Spirit Rush. The Flex comes in. Very nice charm. As I think the only thing that's left here is who's going to be POG for game number one because Amalite Esports came in with a huge vengeance for this first game. Even for just the first 10 minutes, really brought it to DK and shaped the game around them. As now they're trying to do some extra emotional damage as down will go the Nexus and Amalite Esports will stomp in game number one. And talk about a mid-jungle gap in this one, Valdez. Game number one, Grizzly and Zekka work together to generate an early lead.